trout rods, salmon rods, striper rods, helmet rods, downrigger rods, lead core rods, spinning rods, and more. If you want a high quality, high performance rod that won't let you down out on the water, go to fishhuntshoot.com and check out our selection of high quality, high performance fishing rods. Howdy guys, Kel Kellogg here. Um, I just finished shooting a story about when I saw Wolverine up in Tehama County when I was about 20 years old and uh, I got the itch to tell stories now. I've always been fascinated by the idea uh, of UFOs, um, whether they're, you know, technology from this planet or they've got aliens inside, I don't know. But uh, I've seen some strange things and it, it really, you know, I, I, I've read a bunch of books about Roswell and stuff. And then when the Navy released that footage of the UFOs, I think they were off San Diego. Guys were up in an F-18 and they filmed a thing doing stuff that nothing on earth can do, that's for sure. And, and you can hear the pilots talking about it. Man, my, my, oh, fish on, fish on. We'll get back to that story in a minute. That, that feels like a good fish right there. So hold that thought. F-18s, Navy pilots, and aliens off San Diego. <laughs> Man, he wrecked that fly. That was eight feet deep. Hopefully we can get him in. It's been a tough morning here. We'll see. Starting to get a little breeze, though. We're getting a little surface chop, and, and that, that is always good. Wind's pushing me sideways. I get on the pedals to get the nose around. There we go. There we go. I'm into the top shot now. It's 50 feet away. His head shaking like crazy. Of course, they're always on the weak side to make it more challenging. Boat coming down on me here. Woo! This feels like a good fish. Not huge, but powerful. Lake Davis, baby. There we go. Whoop! <laughs> Man, he put up a heck of a fight for a fish that size. Well, there he is. That's another nice fish in that trolling fly. Not the biggest fish I ever caught at Davis, but uh, they are handsome. They'll eat great. Nice square tail. And uh, man, that fish put up a heck of a fight. He wasn't getting away. He had that trolling fly pretty good. Howdy folks, Kel Kellogg here. Lucy and I were heading back from our hike this morning and uh, just wanted to take a, take a few minutes to tell a story. This is gonna be the second installment in our, in our new playlist, Kel Kellogg Unfiltered. And today, I'm gonna be talking about those pesky aliens, those flying saucers, those, those extraterrestrial aircraft, supposedly. And uh, have I had a couple of experiences? I, absolutely have and I'm not saying I've seen an extraterrestrial ship I've seen some very strange stuff and uh, I will share those stories for you later but let's kind of warm up on this extraterrestrial slash UFO uh, concept with some conversations I had now I've always been interested in this I kind of follow this in fact not that long ago they found an earth-like planet with oceans a mere 110 light years away now that's a long way for you and I but in universe terms, that's right around the corner. And who knows what lives there? It's a planet pretty much like Earth, as near as scientists here can tell. So anyway, it's been a subject I've covered and followed for a long, long time. And uh, I was on my way to Alaska a few years ago. 
always hear about pilots seeing stuff and whatnot and had my fish niffer hat on and uh, i'd upgraded to first class because first class is awesome i was in seattle waiting for the the long flight to anchorage and i'm standing there because first class is awesome and you get to board first um and here comes, I don't know if it's a pilot or the co-pilot, but he had on the straight, you know, Admiral's uniform and the, the funny hat and the whole deal. Clearly, he knew how to fly a big, giant passenger jet. And he says to me, hey, you going fishing? Turns out he was a fly fisherman. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, you going fly fishing? I'm like, no, I'm going up with Captain Steve, Captain Steve's Lodge, and uh, we're going to catch some big old halibut, maybe a big old link hog. Might get some salmon, you know, something like that. But... Uh, and we chatted about fishing. He was telling me some of the destinations as he's fly fished and how he kind of tried to get on certain flights at times so he could spend a, a layover in a certain spot and, you know, get out on a famous river or a famous lake or whatever. And he was just a cool cat. We had a good conversation. And I had to ask him the question. I says, hey, you ever see anything up there? And he says, yeah, unidentified stuff? I said, yeah, unidentified stuff. He goes, yeah. He's all, I was a military pilot. I've been doing this for a long time. And he's all, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not saying these are spaceships, but we see stuff on a pretty regular basis and we don't report it unless it's a threat to, you know, air safety or something. And he says, we don't wanna sound like nut jobs, but he's all, I have absolutely seen many things that do not conform to our concept of physics. What aircraft can do, even the most sophisticated aircraft can do. And uh, I filed that away and it's pretty interesting. Well, turns out I have a buddy who's a commercial pilot, commercial airline pilot. He is a devout Christian and I'm not gonna use his name. I'm not gonna throw him under the bus here. But uh, I saw him about a year and a half, two years ago. And I says to him, hey, I met this guy at the Seattle airport and this is what he told me. And he's already shaking his head and he told me, same thing here, dude see stuff on a pretty regular basis, stuff that I can't explain. It's not a threat, it's not threatening, but we see this stuff and uh, again, we don't report it because who wants to sound like a crackpot? Um, but I just found that interesting. You know, UFO stories that come from some guy in a rowboat that's been drinking, you know, natural ice all night and sees a bright light and yeah, okay, that that's one kind of story and maybe it's true, but you know, his, <clears throat> His, his whole demeanor and, and that part of the story doesn't make, doesn't, doesn't put a lot of weight with what a guy like that said. But astronauts, commercial airline pilots, military guys, guys that are very serious people, people that work at nuclear missile bases, those kind of people, police officers, those kind of people, their, their reports and their observations, and most of these people, police officers, military guys, air, airplane pilots, they're, they're trained observers, you know? They report on everything. So their accounts do carry a lot of weight, and uh, if you do a little bit of looking, there are a lot of stories that are really hard to refute. Doesn't prove there's aliens, but it definitely proves that there is some strange stuff about and some stuff about that we can't explain and in a lot of cases the government's official you know line when they can't explain is to deny but the bottom line is they've spent a lot of time and effort in studying these phenomena and maybe they know what they are maybe they don't but they're not anywhere near telling us what they know um anyway i'm signing off for now i'm kel kellogg we will be talking more about this subject later on um, this is the second video in Kel Kellogg Unfiltered, our new uh, playlist here on the channel. And uh, I will catch you here next time. Um, if you're looking for fishing gear, you know where to go. Here comes a car or something. Go over to fishhuntshoot.com and check out my store. I'll catch you later. Let's see what kind of vehicle this is. It sounds funny. Anyway, I'll catch you later, guys.